Good morning. This is our little loft at the station. Which worked well for us. Nice. Everyone got a little bed. We're happy here. Um, so Asher's going to switch out his backpack. I ordered him a different one because this one is uh, kinked up in the back now. And it was really bothering him. So got him another backpack that hopefully won't have that problem. So we got some organizing here to do and some breakfast. And we're going to hit the trail again. And I'll talk later about some interesting happenings from yesterday. This is Trail Magic Free Breakfast at the station. So, thank you everyone at the station. Elliot, yeah. what's happening? Where are we? What are we doing? Who's this? So sweet. The sweetest Great Dane I've ever seen. Hello. Okay, what's happening? So, we're, we're just trying? shaking down and getting rid of stuff that we don't really need right now. Guess. We're trying to, what? Is that your beach week then? Yes, this is my beach week. Are we the last ones out of here? <laughs> it's fine though. Because we're shaking down. Shaking down. Okay. So our packs are going to get later. Great. All right, so we're having a ton of fun with this little scale that they have here. Let me see, Ben. Five this is pounds. one of our food bags. And then I still have to... Yeah, one of our food bags is 5.1 pounds. Okay, and we have like four of those, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's get those packed up. Get the ukulele packed up. We are, I have to say, we decided to leave the tambourine behind. We're leaving my old backpack behind. Oops, sorry. And we are sending a box home. It's really, it has a sleeping bag in it and some miscellaneous items. Almost seven pounds. Okay, so this is Tonga. Hi, Tonga. This is Tonga. And look at this little cutie. White Blaze. White Blaze was just found recently. <laughs> it was abandoned on the trail at a campsite and turned into one of the ladies here. So he was named White Blaze and he's a little cutie. Teeny, teeny tiny. What is he like, two pounds? It's so funny to see him next to <laughs> Hello. So funny. All right, well, we're getting ready to leave. Amy has been awesome here at the station. And um, Clint? Clint, yep. We're going to get a picture with Clint. And is Dave driving people? Is he running? Yeah, oh, okay. So I don't know if I'll see Dave before we leave, but he was awesome too. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So thank you guys. Okay. Here we go, um, true to form. It's about 11.30 in the morning and we are back on trail. Let's do it. Day 31. 31. Did a little bit of a shakedown, not too, too much, but a few items and had a great stay at the station. Everyone there was super nice and awesome. Thank you all. And, um, yeah, here we go. Here we are hiking through a meadow, to a meadow. Through a meadow and to a meadow. Ooh, butterfly. Pretty flowers. And boys are talking about animals again. <laughs> it's a beautiful day.
what we're, ooh, look at the mom's behind you. So what were you just saying, Elliot, when we rounded this corner? That we should build a house, a barn, and right up on that hill up there. Yeah. And get horses. And this would be awesome to live up here. And what? It would be awesome to live up here. It is pretty. As long as we have a nice farmer's porch that I can sit on. Yes. Drink root beer. <laughs> be fine. How about sweet tea? I'll be, yeah, and sweet tea. I'll be fine from the heat. I'm going to sit on our farmer's porch and drink sweet tea. Me and Elliot. <laughs> oh, Brody, you want to sit on the porch too? <laughs> Watch the horses breeze. a picture around every corner here. It's so pretty. We're gonna find a nice shady spot. Please Sit down. Go, Take a rest. Hydrate. We have gone eat. To 2.5. 2.5. 2.5 behind us. And look at that. 2.5 in 55 minutes. Nice. Oh, look. More mountains over there. Oh, look. There's a farm up there. It doesn't matter which way you look, it's all beautiful. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Right, we are in this nice meadow, very sunny, nice day, drinking water. Later, we're going to be drinking a little bit of lemonade, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> we got donuts. We got donuts. Yeah, we got donuts. Yeah, and, Pretty good. and just so you know, our mom is terrible. The views are amazing. The meadow's amazing. We can hear birds. Nice sunny the day. trees are amazing. Right. I mean, I mean, it's just it's horrible. We're out in the wilderness having a great time eating donuts and stuff we don't usually eat. <laughs> getting tarts. Pop tarts. We're getting great views, and we're not even going that hard. We're not pushing ourselves. I mean, yeah, what I time mean, is it? What time today? is it? One thirty, and we've gone two and a half miles. <laughs> yeah. What's happening? I mean, we could be who? Yeah, I mean, we could be sitting on the couch playing video games. So the lunch break in this beautiful spot turned into tree climbing, which is great. Which turned into not being able to get down because it hurts. Except <laughs> just as I experienced when I was a kid, it's easier to climb a tree than it is to get out of a tree. Exactly. So exactly. now they're trying to figure out how to get out of the tree now that they've gotten themselves up there. And it's time to move on, boys. Come on, boys. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the hit the 300 mile mark. Before Uncle Johnny's. Do you know how many days ago? Um, hmm. No. Hmm. Not without looking at my book. Hmm. Hey, you're right. It was a church. If we left early this morning, we could have gone to church there. Yeah, we could have. Oh, it's 2.37, so we're late. 
and we're a little late for church. That would have been funny though if we walked by at church time. Could have gone in. Can't read the name of it. Across this way. I'm gonna hold up for your brothers. I wanna hold up for your brothers till they get across that road. This is cool. This is cool, it's like a tunnel. Can we wait at the other side? I was gonna say that looks like a good rock to stop on. Mm. And then we can get them coming through the tunnel. What are you saying? <laughs> oh, I was just talking about how if she uh if mom had any candy that my brothers didn't know about, mm. that maybe we could eat it and they would never know. <laughs> and they, they wouldn't feel bad that we ate it because they wouldn't know that we ate it. Oh. Just saying. Uh. <laughs> that would not be nice. But it tastes good. Let's see where they are. They must be coming. No, nope, but it's point one away from that road. What is this, 400? No. Nope. Okay, so we just pulled up to the 400 mile mark. Yay, let's celebrate. So, <sighs> who has the champagne? <laughs> 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 that was good. Oh, we can't cut that out. Okay, we are. We've gone a little over five miles. We're at Jones Falls, but we have to go that way to go see it. However, we can sort of see it through the trees here. It's actually a pretty cool big waterfall. I don't know if you could see it a little bit through the trees. There is another one, another waterfall ahead. This one looks awesome, but since it's chilly and a little late in the day, we're not gonna make the effort to go around to it. So we're gonna keep moving. Let's keep moving.
That thing's awesome. Look at that thing. Mountaineer Falls, water source, and home of Santa Claus. Santa Who Elf. Santa Troll? What are these little guys? Santa something. So this is where Santa Claus lives in the uh, summer? I guess so. Looks hot in that outfit. Yeah. Did you all fill up? I went up there. Ooh, that's pretty. I went up underneath behind the water. And once you get under there, you can feel it. You did? Yeah. Here, if I do this, it's pretty powerful. Can't really see him from this angle. Oh, there he is. He's arm behind the water. I see you. So here we go. I'm just going to take the phone up a little higher so you can actually see it. It's pretty good. Here. It's pretty tall. It doesn't look very, very powerful right now. But if you stood behind it, you can feel it. It's like it's coming down hard. It's pretty cool. Okay. Here we go. So, these boys are crazy. Crazy, crazy. We've had a nice day. We got a pretty late start getting out of the station. Um, but that's okay. We enjoyed a couple of the meadows. Had some good lunch and snack breaks. One by the river. One by a cool tree. So that was fun. And... There are a couple different places we can tent. We don't anticipate or expect or didn't plan to do major miles today since we got such a late start. Um, but Benny's feeling pretty good. We're all feeling pretty good. And the boys are... Okay, so that was me falling. <laughs> Usually, when I'm not recording, I have my poles in my hands, and I can't tell you how many times my poles have saved me from doing a face plant. Um, that time was not bad because there weren't any roots or rocks around, so I'm okay. I'm not like skinned up or anything. I just went down. Um, kind of landed on my palms so anyway I'm okay and we're back back in business okay so what was I saying um a couple different tent sites that we could be staying at but boys are kind of determined to get to a certain point so we're kind of everyone's feeling okay so we are seeing what we can do so we just did a First, there was a stretch that was a little bit ups and downs, so we did like a three-mile hour. Um, and then there was a push-up, point nine. And so 
Brody was like, let's see if we can do it in 15. And we did it in exactly 15. So that was awesome. And now there's 3.1 to a road crossing. So it's n not bad. Um, it's not a ton of up and down. It's kind of rolling. And so we were going to see if we can get that 3.1 in an hour. Or I said an hour. Brody said, or less. So, here we go. That's what we're doing. And I should put my poles back in my hand, hands so that I can catch myself if I need to and keep moving. So, we'll see you at the road. It's a beautiful evening. 6.30 p.m. <laughs> and here's the view. Nice. It's pretty good. So, you're saying this is 1.5? Yep. Four. We have four nice. point something to go. Not too bad. Okay, quick update. We did it! We made it to the other road in exactly an hour. So, now, what is it, you guys? Two point... Three. Oh my gosh. 2.3 to the tent site that they want to stay at. So, let's see if we can get there in about a half an hour or so and get set up and cook some dinner. Water source is prior to the tent site. And here we go. Okay, so we are coming upon a part of the trail where there's some cascades. We're going to fill our water bladder for dinner. But I believe that this part of the trail that we're coming upon is a section of the trail that Bob Peoples is um, known for taking care of. And he's kind of a legend on the trail. And a legend for doing trail maintenance. So, I think that's what we're coming to. It's starting to get dark. But we're almost there. As soon as we get water, we're going to find a nice little tent site. And get set up real quick. Brody just walked up and said, this is heaven. Look at this, it's beautiful. Do you see it, Asher? Yeah. Nice. These are pretty. All right, let me help you get the bladder ready to fill. Okay, we did it. We did it. We made it to the actual tent site. Woo. 59, boys. At 59, that's 8.20. So let's hurry up and get the tents. Hurry up, 59. Yeah, let's get the tent set up and everyone pull their food out for the bear hang. Oh, let's man. get the bear hang figured out before it's dark. Yeah. All right, so we are eating dinner. Brody, what would you like to say what we have? We have mashed potatoes with Doritos. It doesn't get old. It's so good. And it's so Yummy. warm. It's so warm, it tastes so good. Yeah. Roasted garlic. Roasted mashed garlic. potatoes. Oh, they're so pretty thick. They are. They're <laughs> yeah. hearty. They're, they're we thick can use and dry. some more water. <laughs> they could Just use some a little more, bit more water. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Hell yeah. Tasty.